Hi everyone. As I was happy with feedback about my router plane, I decided to make another tool. What tool? Well, I'll use my favorite flash gym saw. You know, this one doesn't damage wood, so here's what I made. A cuff plane. Don't tell me it's just a saw blade attached to a plywood with a handle on it. Well, the good thing is, you can run this against a wood piece to make a straight cut and you don't need a fancy built-in guide fence. I actually made a separate guide fence for sliding dovetail, but I'll explain how to use it later. Anyways, let's see how I made them. So first, as usual, I cut wood, and this time I'm using scrap wood. Then I planed everything. Again, I wanted to learn more about how to plane, so the wood ended up getting a little thinner than I wanted. The experience is so important, right? It seems like I got two square surface, so now I'll make a slope for the dovetail guide. I set the slope as 1 to 4 ratio like the picture, which is a little more than 14 degrees. It's a good angle for dovetail, and you can calculate the dovetail size easier than using a non-decimal angle. This is actually a challenge for me to plane a perfect slope, and my approach was, I lay three slope lines, and was sure I did a good job on each mark. My goal was at least to make the top and bottom lines correct. Moving on to the fabrication of clamp function of the guide, I decided to cut it off into two pieces and I'm going to use thumb nuts on two sides to tighten it. Additionally, I put the screw in the middle so it can keep a good distance of the two pieces when releasing the thumb nuts, but I think I didn't need it. Anyways, here is what you want to see. Yes, I messed up. I used the wrong size of the bit, but don't worry, epoxy glue at the next step will help me with this. Now, epoxy and glue time. There is not much to say, so while you see the processes, let me tell you one thing. As much as I get into walking and enjoy it, I really enjoy having a conversation with you guys. So I read all the comments and I respond to pretty much all of them. Thank you. My motivation to make a video is coming from there, so if you are new to my channel, I basically started woodworking last year and show how I struggle with it. And now it's your turn to shout out in the comment. Well, it seems like I still have time, so I'll let you enjoy a hammer sound. That's it to make. Okay, let me show you how to use them. First, I'll make straight cuts to make a groove with my router plane. I just use a square piece of wood as a guide and make cuff lines. You may realize this one doesn't have a handle. This saw can cross cut the wood like butter, but it's only when the saw blade is angled to the wood. As all part of the blade is touching to the wood, the friction makes the cuff plane move back and forth harder than I expected. So I ended up putting the handle after this video shooting. And now, clean the part between the lines and here I'm so happy with it now the sliding dovetail this is the guide I made but I only use the angled guide and clamp it to the wood to make a groove I was actually planning to fit a brass sheet on the bottom of the angle so it doesn't get worn out but 
oh well, maybe next time. The thing is, as it tilted to the side way, I felt a little more friction than the perpendicular cuff line, but it was alright. The blade lube actually helped me a lot. Though I happened to cut a little bit to inside of the lines, I was so happy with how accurate it went. Then I used a router plane to clean it up. I could have used chisels, but as the grain is already cut off, so it's easy to clean up with whatever tools available. Now the tenon side. I attach the wood to the guide by clamps. I can do it on an end grain for a shelf bolt style, but I'll do it on the edge side at this time. And after securing it by a vise and adjust the location, I actually decided to do it outside, and it runs smoother than I thought. But the thing is, the teeth are so fine so the sawdust jumped up in the teeth sometimes, and I had to clean it. But Anyhow, I made it. After that, I cut off the shoulders, and here I finished the tenon. Well, these are the results. They look nice, but as I cut the groove a little too narrow, they wouldn't fit. I knew I needed to do some adjustments, so here is after the adjustments. I see tiny tiny gap, but I can put water on it and let the grain raise so the gap will be gone for good. I think the calf playing by a flash trim saw is worse, as it's like a 5 minute and less than 20 dollar project. But to be honest, the guide was doubtful. It's just like a powered router with a dovetail bit that does the job, but that needs your final adjustment or you have to be good at handling it to make a perfect fit dovetail. Oh well, it was another fun learning project for me, and that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I would be happy if you liked the video and happier if you subscribe to this channel. If you have any suggestion to my video, it's also welcome. See you!